What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to New Rock TV. Yeah. Today, card show day. Look at my boy, Game Maddox. Over here looking at the vintage. Look at this. Bay Area card show. Loving it. Got my Clemente jersey. Nice little vintage type of mood. I'm looking for mantle today. We got a couple mantles and some iconic gold cups. So let's see what we got and get into. I am back from the Bay Area Card Show. What a show. Um, a lot of fun. Wish I could have stayed the whole day, but uh, I was crunched for time. So we were there for about two hours, but trust me, I spent my money in two hours, even faster than that. Um, I try to be like, I try to take the advice of the Godfather, AKA Mike, baseball collector. I try to go with an open mind, because, uh, you know, I always have a plan, but it was fun to go with a little bit of money in my pocket and not knowing what to get. If I still had, I still had, I'm an army guy. I still had somewhat of a plan. And the plan was we hit our usual guys who have awesome value boxes. We want to hit them first when the show um, first began. That way, you know, their boxes were nice and full of uh, all their overstocked or inventory or whatever they have. And um, before it got picked over, but that way we get all the value bin stuff out the way and we still had a nice decent amount of money left to get that one big card for us. And it worked out pretty well for me. Uh, but let me get some things out of the way before I flip the camera around. I had to write this down because I didn't want to mess up the numbers. But my boy and channel, The Card Closet, is doing a 250 sub contest. I'm going to have a link in the description below. Check him out. Also, J-Rod is doing a 2020 holiday giveaway. So shout outs to my man there. And he also wants me to shout out another channel. And that channel is going to be easy for me. It's J Stoudemire one Should have a lot more subs than he does. I think he's like at two something, 250. I had him up here. I think he's like 250 or something like that. Ridiculous. Either way, it's too low. One of the sickest collections on YouTube. And um, a lot of big boy cards for him. But uh, yeah, so those are my shout outs. Go check them out. Links in the description below. And now... Let me flip the camera around and let me show you these goodies. Got a lot of good rookies. You know how I do. So, let's do it. All right. Let's move along. Try to get this quick. But, uh, like I said, if you find Hall of Fame rookie cards, get them. No matter what the sport. These were in the value bin as I was shuffling through. That was Steve Nash. Tim Duncan, who's getting inducted this year. Can't beat it. I mean, a dollar a piece. It was probably even cheaper than that once I bumped everything together. All right. This is actually pretty funny. Kind of related to Bowman's 53's response videos. I go to this to uh, these shows with other people in mind. I don't, want, I don't want to go in detail too much. One more time, one more time. Because once you see it, you probably know who these are for. But that's going to be going in care packages. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to talk about those too much, but yep, got those. All right, these are, you know, PC cards of mine, but they're not rookies. Um, so I really don't have a, a category for those, but <laughs> for these, here's a Clemente I don't have. It has Reggie Jackson, which is super dope, and Sammy Sosa, Dominican. Another Clemente I don't have. Saw the counters going up in the super collection. That was real sick right there. Love that blue with the black and white. Now, I've been watching a lot of Hall of Fame Collector, um, a couple other channels where they're focusing on the 90s inserts. And you don't realize they made so much of the stuff that these inserts were incredibly hard hits. Um, people will rip open cases and not get inserts. So now when I come across a whole bunch of these inserts, I'm starting to pick them up, especially of the superstars, you know, the Thomases, the Maguires, the Griffies. I just got two of those because that's just a beautiful looking card. I used to love the Upper Deck Black Diamond. I thought I was so high, high, uh, high class 
Like, oh my gosh, this is such a sick card. Like, I couldn't afford that stuff as a kid. This I found in value. This is second year pool holes. Like, come on, man. You telling me what? Beautiful card. Got me a Jeter. This was in a value bin. How can I not get that? Of course, I got Bernie I didn't have, so I took that, snatched it up. This is so sad. I'm still looking for the Jeter of this one. My buddy had one in this shop, but he was selling for like 80. That was the homeboy discount. Damn Starburst. So if, I, if anyone has a Starburst Jeter, call it your boy. This was cool. I used to have a Willie Mays, but I gave it to my boy Papa J because he's a big Giants fan. But this one's nice. No cracking. Good color on it still. That's the thing with these cereal cards. They crack. But it's that little white over here somewhere. But besides that, super clean card. Especially for being in a cereal box. And these are funny. So my daughter, before I left, I was like, Mama, you want me to get you anything? And she's like, yeah, Dad, get me some Aaron Judge cards. So I got these cards for my baby. And when I came home, she's like, Dad, did you get my cards? And I showed her. And she's like, nice, rainbow foil. The girl's five years old. She's, she gets in the light. Nice, rainbow foil. Thanks, Dad. How can you not love that girl? Love her, love her, love her. Going to inherit the kingdom. She's getting all of it. Getting all of it. All right. Moving along. Look at this. Adrian Beltre, future Hall of Famer. Come on, man. I think it's really a second year. I think this is a 99. So dope. This is a 94 Jeter. As far as I didn't have it. It's a clear update. Not too shabby. I mean, shooting a value bin. I mean, it's eight up. The front is actually not too bad, but the back is a little chippy and a little white. But I think that's more of the cut from the card. The manufacturer. No Andy Pettit situation. Johnny Damon, Caveman. No Viscal rookie. Tops traded. Look how clean that card is. Look at the back of that. Come on now. Another Viscal rookie. That's a clean card too. Look at that. Shilling. Gonna probably make the haul this year. That's the cleanest one I could find. He had like two or three of them. This was the best one. A little off center, top, uh, bottom to top, but that's not too bad. I could care less. I'm just glad I got one of them because he's gonna be a Hall of Famer. I'm not a big Shilling fan. I think he's overrated. And a gold cup of Verlander. So sick. That's tight. I love that Topps Chrome. I was happy to find that one in the value bin. All right. Now to the goodies. So we really want, we really wanted to hit these boxes and see if we could find some Randy Rosarenas. And we did. Got a nice little archive. Little heritage. Those are the ones who I found. My buddy had a little bit more luck. He actually found a chrome in there. But look at this, man. I mean, how's Austin Meadows still in these value bins? Look at that. I, I freaking killed it with Meadows. Come on now. So sick. And one of my biggest players I was looking for in these value bins were the Corey Seegers. His hobby is starting to get strong, especially being on the Dodgers too. I thought I killed it with Corey Seager. Look at that. Love these. Corey Seager, Corey Seager, Corey Seager. Shout out to my boy Pepino, man. Look at that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 21 Corey Seagers. Corey Seager. Okay, I ain't going to do 21 Corey Seagers. But you guys get the point. Thought I killed it with that stack. Randy, Meadows, Seager. And then here's some more rookies. Got the pink and the prism of uh, Tr Trey Mancini. Or is it up and coming, man? They got some players. They just got no pitching. You got Korea. Another Korea 2014 Bowman. 
the uh, Korea Miner, Wilson Cortez, the Blake Snell action. This, I just love the Everall of the 2013. Gorgeous card. I think I already had that, but I didn't want to leave it in the value bin. Jorge Soler, I think he's so underrated. Boy, got a lot of power. Bill Anthony Volpe, you know, I got to find my little Yankee action. Bueller, Bueller. I can't believe this guy's still in the value bin. These cats got to get him. I don't think this is, I think this is just an insert. I don't think there's any kind of atomic refractor or anything like that. I just think that's how the insert is. That's a beautiful card. Little you know, Reese Hoskins. Another Reese Hoskins. This I got because it's a rookie refractor and I think he made the gold cut gold cup team. So why not? Damn value been fine. This one, I just love uh, Bowman Sterling. So I got him. Um, there he's good. White Sox are hot. Got my boy Didi, just in case he comes back to the Yankees. That's a sick card. Another one. I love Topps Finest rookie cards. Love them. Here's another one. All right, almost done. People, bear with me. I made a killing. All right. Here we go, got a little Tim Anderson action. A little Glaber action. Look at that, these are value bins. My buddy found a Mad Bum rookie. I was so pissed. Happy for him, pissed that I didn't find it first. <laughs> but you know what? I realized, here's a Pache, He's, my boy's big on Pache. When you have a buddy and you're good friends and you guys know what you guys collect, Man, you go through value bins so much faster. He was finding stuff. He's like, hey, bro, you want it? I'm like, yeah, throw it in the stack. Same thing, vice versa. Hey, bro, you want this one? I got two, but you know what? I'll take it. You know what? And we were going through value bins. We're just getting our technique down for uh, nationals. This is, all, this is all practice for the big daddy of them all. It's good to have a partner in crime, man. No Moncada. Clevenger for his Bowman, sick. Couple of bows, shout out to my boy, Ken. Another one. I got these Glabers, but come on, I can't leave no Glaber behind. Look at this Dustin May, I don't have this one. This is like before the red hair. <laughs> First Bowman of uh, Chavez. No Verdugo action, another Verdugo. And a mojo. Man, there's so many of these mojos in these value bins. Crazy. Here we go. Another mojo of Allard. I mean, come on, look at this. Walker Bueller. Paddock mojo. Mangrel mojo. Got two Florial refractors. Like, are you kidding me? Tell me a big meat Pete. I just I know I have this card. I just can't remember if I have it as a in a chrome. But if I have it, now I got two. Mount Castle, look at that. These cards, I'm like, this one I got because it was numbered. Number refractor, $4.99. And look at this. On the value bin. Card of a boom, baby. Here! Get the here! Copec, look at this, Mojo. Come on. In the dollar bin? Two crumbs of the man. And Eloy. Come on, bro. Hmm. Let's say that top loader is like bigger than all the others. Why is this top loader so big? That bothers me. All right, that's getting out. I don't know about you guys, but the best part is like taking out most of my cards of these busted up top loaders, re-sleeving everything, putting stuff in one touches. I love that. That's so relaxing to me. All right. Now to the big boys. Let me clean up the station. I'll be back. All right. And now I'm back. I just had to get a little organized here. 
But uh, so I'm rummaging through some value bins and found this card. Eric, those back pages. This is what it reminds me of. I mean, but look at this card, nice and clean. I got this for like a dollar. Are you kidding me? Like, I can't beat that. 85 tops. Then, as my buddy was trying to get a deal himself, um, that same dealer had this card and he had a $10 price tag on it. So I hit him up with five and he jumped on it. He took it. He's like, All right, I'll take that. So I just, I pretty much bundled on my buddy's deal because my buddy was spending more money than I was. This was just like a, I'm like, oh, I don't have an 83 Fleer Boggs, Hall of Famer, rookie. I'll take that. And he had a $10 price tag. I figured if he didn't, I mean, if you're expecting a $10 bill, you got to expect someone to dance with you. I'd be like, yo, five. And he took it. I was expecting to hit me up with seven. I would have taken that seven, but I'm happy with five. So a buddy of mine is a dealer there, and he had a vintage box 50% off. So I was like, oh, I hope he's got some goodies. So my buddy I was with actually was in the box first and found these two cards. He knew I was all over that. I think my buddy, I mean, there's a little stain in here. I don't know what it is. I tried wiping it off. I thought it was like some kind of gum or something like that. But my buddy had a $50 price tag on this. So automatically, you know, 50% off is 25 bucks. I mean, it's a little, I mean, it's way off center, but I mean, the card is clean. Look at that beautiful picture. And it's a gold cup. And I love the 68 burlap design. Love it. And then you got Colton Fisk. Yeah, he's a Red Sox, but he's a Hall of Famer. And it's a gold cup. And I prefer, I always like the, um, the gold cups because it's, the, it's usually the first year that they're by themselves on the card. So, um... I think I paid 25 for the both of these and he was down. He took care of me. So I pretty much got this card for free. So yeah, I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Now, ooh, almost chaotic. So the last dealer I dealt with had a few cards and, um, there was three cards in particular I wanted. And uh, let me start off with this one. This was a throw-in. After I bought the first three cards, I went back because we were, you know, we struck up a conversation, making connections in the hobby, chit-chatting. I was like, bro, tell me the story on this. this. Is a real auto? He's like, yeah, I got it as a kid. Because he was selling... Most of the stuff he was selling was from his childhood collection. So not the greatest shape, but he had some nice cards, some key cards I needed. And it was cheap. It was priced to sell. And, uh, you know, just having a good conversation and um, trading stories. And he was like, I just love talking cards. That's why I come here to get out the house. He gave me this card for free. I'm like, you kidding me? So I would love to take that to uh, like JSA or PSA at the National and just get that authenticated and slabbed up. It's a good story. Just making a connection in the hobby. He's like, yeah, you can have it, bro. And I enjoy it. I'm like, I'll be back to spend more money next month. He's like, I appreciate it. Harold Baines. He was like, ain't no one want no Harold Baines. <laughs> I was like, he's a Hall of Famer. He's like, these kids don't care about that. So... Next one, Colton Fist. This was actually a throw-in because uh, we settled. I wanted, for the two main cards, I wanted 140. He, he hit me back at 150, which was still a steal. But you know me. I got I to gotta, I gotta do the dance. I never pay sticker, even if the sticker is a good price. And uh, I was like, I'll pay 150 if you throw this card in. He had this price for 10 bucks. And the guy's like, ah, oh, fine, you can have it for 150. I mean, yeah, it's miscut, but still a Hall of Fame rookie card. Ain't no one going to jump on because he's a damn Red Sox. But the card I didn't have, and it was the first one I saw that I could bundle real quick. But, man, look at that miscut. Crazy. But, hey, I don't have it. I have it now. Hall of Fame rookie. And now for the two big cards of the show. Same dealer. 
Same guy who threw in the Harold Baines auto and that Fisk uh, rookie card. He had this price for like, I don't know, I already switched out the top loaders. I love clean top loaders. But um, I think he had this price for like 65 bucks. It's crazy. I know it's off center, but still 65 bucks. I mean, look at that picture. And then he had this Mickey. I mean, there's like a pen dot on there. And a little something, something. I think that's another pen dot. But he had this for a buck twenty-five. I'm like, are you kidding me? I saw another pen dot here. He had another pen dot. So this probably be a PSA one because of the, the mark. If you if you uh, get the qualifiers on there, but I hit him up. He had this at sixty-five, one twenty-five. Like, if he was firm on one twenty-five, I would have taken it anyways. But since I like to do the dance, I was thinking 100, I was thinking 40, so that's how I came up with 140. He hit me back with 150. I already knew I was going to buy him. But I was like, hey, let me try bundling. And that's what I did with this card. I was like, I'll pay 150 if you throw this card in. And he's like, ah, fine. <laughs> threw it in. And as I was walking away, like I said, he's like, you can have it. No one likes Harold Baines. <laughs> like, he's a Hall of Famer. But yeah, I mean, like, oh, I love these cards. Look at that. How beautiful. 1964 Topps Mickey Mantle. Love it. Look at this P. Rose. Not a bad day at the card show. Not a bad day at the card show. So with that, peace out. Go Yankees. I got to finish it like that. Go Yankees.